Hello champions. I hope you all are enjoying learning at home, right? Now it's time to learn maths again. But before we begin with the next chapter, let me ask you one question. If I have 100 rupees and my brother has 200 rupees, then how much money do we have in all? Can you help me to get the answer? Think, what are we going to do? Yes, we are going to add 100 plus 200, that is 300. I have 300 rupees in all. Correct. So, now we are going to learn this. Addition. Addition of bigger number. Let us start. You already know how to add 2 and 3 digit numbers, right? Let us revise some of them. Let us try solving the first one. While adding, add the digits on 1's place first. Okay? Now, how to add? Keep the bigger number in your mind and keep the smaller number on your fingers. Okay? So, after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Easy. We'll write 9 over here. As we have nothing to add under 1, we'll consider a 0 over here. And 1 plus 0 will be 1. So, 15 plus 4 is 19. Easy, right? Great. Now, let's solve this one. We'll start with digits at 1's place. Bigger number on mind, smaller on finger. After 7, 8, 9. So we'll write 9 over here. Again, bigger digit on mind, smaller on finger. After 6, 7, 8, 9. So we'll write 9 again. Bigger number on mind, smaller on finger. After 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we'll write 9 again. So 532 plus 467 is 999. Easy? Can you solve these two on your own? Show it to me. Now you have revised adding Two and three digit numbers right nothing is difficult about four digit numbers the method remains the same we have to add ones place first then tens place then hundreds and then thousands in the same way okay let's start keep four on your mind as this is a bigger number and two on your fingers so four plus 2 after 4 5 and 6 so the answer is 6 you already know 8 plus 0 0 added to any number answer is number itself 4 plus 0 4 and 5 in mind 3 on finger after 5 6 7 8 so the answer is 8486 so easy. Let's try one more. Keeping 3 in mind and 1 on finger. After 3, 4. 7 plus 0 remains 7. 3 plus 2. 3 in mind, 2 on finger. After 3, 4, 5. So 5. And 3 plus 3. After 3, 4, 5, 6. So easy. Perfect. Now I want you to try solving these two on your own. Adding four digit numbers was quite simple, right? Exactly. Now it's time that we learn how to add by regrouping. Now what does regrouping mean? We'll learn. Try adding 8 and 6 first. So 8 in mind and 6 on fingers. When we add 
after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Our answer is 14. It's a two digit answer. So, we'll keep this digit means digit at unit place over here and the other digit over here. Yes, it will go to the tens place. And so, we'll be adding three numbers over here. Okay? Let's start adding. 2 plus 1 will be after 2, 3. 3 plus 4. So, we'll keep 4 in mind. 3 on fingers. 5, 6, 7. I hope you got it. We first added 1 and 2. We got the answer 3. And then we added 4 and 3. We got the answer 7. Okay? And 3 plus 3 is 6. Easy. Now this is called adding by regrouping. You observed, right? We got two digit answer at one's place. And so we split the numbers. We wrote 4 at one's place. And we took 1 over here. And we regrouped this number. Right? Let's try one more. 7 plus 5. 7 in mind, 5 on fingers. After 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So our answer over here is 12. We'll write 2 over here and 1 goes up. Easy. Now 3 plus 1 is 4. Now 4 plus 4. After 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 2 plus 1 is... 2 plus 1 is 3. Easy. I know that you can do the remaining on your own. Let's try 